Hey collectors, welcome to Star Wars Collected. I'm Jonathan. Today I actually have a little bit of an update for you on my Chewbacca display builds. So we're gonna open up these boxes, I'll show you what's inside of them, and talk about the next steps. The first thing we're gonna talk about actually predates everything else we've been talking about. This is a 3D printed bowcaster. Uh, I got this a number of years ago. It was something that I watched on eBay for a long time and then it disappeared and then it was gone for quite a few months and then it popped right back up and I kind of like panic bought it. Um, it's okay. Uh, it kind of looks like it was done by an older 3D printer. I feel like my current 3D printer could do a better job. There's a lot of sort of like stepping here that's not smooth. This ball is very angular um, and it's been pasted together, obviously printed in, in much smaller pieces and then sort of pasted together and not necessarily always the best way. Um, you know, like I said, it's kind of angular. This piece especially uh, is very blocky. There are some things like dials on the side, but uh, you know, I've, I've been doing a lot of 3D printing recently and I feel like my current printer could do a better job than this. So I might look online and see if I can find a more accurate uh, and higher poly version of the of the, uh, the bowcaster uh, before I go ahead and start finishing this one. Uh, there was a little bit of damage here when it was shipping, but that just sits right on top and could glue back in in a second. So, uh, you know, scale wise and all that stuff, I think it's pretty good. I think it would work for this Chewy build. Um, and, you know, and the fact that maybe it's not 100% accurate or, uh, you know, not, not uh, you know, not as smooth as it could be. Obviously, I would finish it more properly. Uh, maybe it isn't that big of a deal when it's on the full-size Chewbacca, uh, and I should save uh, the better files for an independently displayed piece or something like that. But for right now, this is Chewbacca's bowcaster, and I'll be deciding here shortly whether I continue with this piece or not. Next thing we're gonna look at here is what's inside of this box. This was purchased off of Etsy. The uh, person who made this goes by C. Yoda Run Leatherworks. Uh, I would highly recommend uh, checking them out. And I will try to put a link down in the description as well. She sent me a business card as well as a sticker. See you at a run for president. I probably would be okay with that. Uh, but what we have in here is going to help rectify one of the most uh, atrocious parts of the Ruby's costume that we talked about sort of in the first episode of this. This is, ladies and gentlemen, a Chewbacca bandolier. This is, uh, it smells incredible. It has that leather smell to it. Um, let me get this box out of the way here. So as you may recall, the one that came with the Ruby's kit uh, was latex and it um, not only smelled terrible because latex always smells terrible, uh, but it had these sort of deflated boxes that I don't know had air in them or something at one point, or they're just molded to fill a certain way. Um, and then the, the little bag that it came with was not the right shape, not the right color. It had this like fastener going right through the middle of it so you couldn't even use it if you wanted to use it. Um, it was all bad. And considering it's one of the main thing that goes across the chest of the display piece, uh, there was no way that I could stick with that. So uh, these are all uh, made to order. Uh, she offers both a New Hope version, I think it's the Force Awakened version, at least a sequel trilogy version, which the boxes on that have a couple different uh, notches and details added to that, uh, as well as the one from Solo, which is uh, pretty cool. That one I think is a little bit more expensive because it does require uh, more than the strap that's used here. but. Uh, this is really cool, very nicely done. Uh, little fasteners here, uh, great aging to it without being too aged and too distressed. Uh, all the details are here, the boxes of, of various sizes, these little silver, I don't know, they kind of look like little speaker things. I'm not sure what they're really supposed to be in universe. Uh, and the beauty of this especially is that this is made for cosplayers. So this is made to be very long. Um, as you guys recall, I'm, I'm over six and a half feet tall. And this is coming down to me about mid thigh. So this is meant to be uh, on Chewbacca. This is not a costume thing that would, you know, maybe hit someone up here and have to remove some of these boxes or give you less of them uh, or make them smaller or something like that. So uh, very, very pleased with this. I think this is gonna go a long way in making my build look a lot more legitimate. As excited as I was to get the bandolier and to kind of rediscover that I saw the bowcaster, uh, this is, without a doubt, the thing I'm most excited about. 
Uh, as you guys recall, going through the Ruby's uh, version of the costume, uh, not only was that bandolier terrible, but the mask was atrocious. Uh, you know, Chewbacca is a very handsome guy. Uh, you know, he's got uh, beautiful hair and the lips so lush. Uh, he's just a gorgeous Wookiee. Um, and that Ruby's mask <laughs> did no one favors. It is a thing of nightmares. And we're gonna get rid of that nightmare. Um, so what I did is I went on to Facebook and I joined the Wookiee Builder Group probably about a month, six weeks ago, something like that. Uh, Cause I've always kind of, kind of been interested in, in building a Wookiee, but knew that the, the long extensive way of doing it, which is really the proper way of doing it, uh, probably just wasn't for me. Uh, but I went on there and I just asked, you know, does anybody have a mask that they've made that maybe they've moved on from since? Uh, and I had a lot of really generous offers, uh, people offering to sell me uh, their older masks or, uh, you know, new masks that they make. Uh, most of the new masks that they make type offers were still too expensive for me. And a lot of the secondhand masks were uh, still outside of what I was looking to spend too. Uh, but there were a handful of offers on there of things that I would have considered. Um, so if you're also interested in, in grabbing a Wookiee mask, I would join that group and see maybe what you can find. So, uh, but the one that really stood out to me uh, was uh, my new friend, Tommy Mars, uh, who lives in Sweden. He responded to my question, my post on there, uh, saying, I have an old mask that I will sell you for 50 euros. <laughs> Uh, not only sell me for 50 euros, but I think ship it to me and sell it to me for 50 euros from Sweden. Uh, and that was one of those too good to be true type postings, or so I thought. Uh, so I, I started engaging with him and I looked at some of the photos that he had before and he sent me some of the photos that he had before. Um, and uh, it looked great, it looked great in photos. Uh, I'll put some of those photos up here so you can see what they look like, uh, what this mask looks like when it's in action. So uh, without further ado, let's go ahead and open this guy up here. So again, this came all the way from Sweden. Apparently this mask is uh, somewhat famous in that it has been featured on the uh, Sweden's Got Talent, I think was the, the show that he said. Uh, so let's go ahead and lift this gorgeous boy out of here and take a look. Now, unfortunately in shipping, he did receive a little bump on his nose, but I don't think that's gonna be anything that prevents me from being able to fix that. Uh, this guy is gorgeous though. Um, so this is a little bump here that I've gotta fix at some point. Uh, I don't really think that's gonna be too difficult. Uh, just some black paint maybe. Might have to use a little bit of filler or something like that. Uh, now, Tommy said that he uh, made this kind of like in a, a weekend or something, which is just incredible. It shows you, you know, the level of skill that he has being able to make this. Um, but I am in love with this. I think this looks gorgeous. It has the right mix of colors. Uh, I think it has the right personality. The teeth look great. Um, so like I said, if I can fix this, there's a tiny little bit of glue here, I might be able to get that. But when this is all said and done, and this is up on a, a mannequin, uh, you know, maybe a little head tilt like Chewbacca always seems to have, uh, I think it's gonna look great. So at this point, I need to get some, uh, you know, some baby blues uh, to fill in those, uh, those sockets to match Peter Mayhew, um, and like I said, just fix that little bit on the nose there, but uh, I could not be more excited. Uh, the quality of this mask for what I paid for it uh, is amazing, and it's all down to the generosity of Mr. Mars there. So, uh, in love with this mask. Before we go, I thought one thing that might be interesting would be to compare our new Chewbacca mask that I'm in love with, with the old one that I hate and have nightmares about. Uh, you know, looking at the coloring, it's actually not that different. Uh, which is good because I'm hoping that the Ruby's mask uh, matches the fursuit decently well. And if those two match, then that means uh, my new Chewbacca mask will also hopefully decently match the fursuit. Uh, but let's take a look at these two faces here while we have them out. Uh, you know, a lot of it is, well, we'll say some of it is structure. Uh, you know, this mask just has sort of a a latex mask behind it with fur laid over top. So it just doesn't have the structure to get Chewbacca the right face. Um, but you can see that that mouth was never ever gonna work. Uh, this, 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 the lips are, are so big and the way it's molded and these teeth are just atrocious. You know, I don't fault Ruby's for doing it that way. That's how Ruby's kind of does their things, but it was just never ever going to look like Chewbacca. Um, and there's no bridge of the nose here. Um, so, you know, maybe if you took 
you know, if you 3D printed or molded a Wookiee sc uh, skull and face, maybe you'd be able to mold this onto that in such a way that <laughs> it looked a little more Chewbacca-ish, but I think that's probably a hill that's, that's too far to climb, at least too far to climb for me. So my recommendation would still stand that if you decide to sort of do the same thing that I'm doing here, uh, would be to reach out to the Wookiee Builder Group on Facebook and see if someone there is looking to get rid of an old mast to maybe fund a new build or something like that, because they might be able to get you a great deal like I got from Sweden. As we end this video, I just want to do a quick comparison real quick here of my new Chewbacca mask on top of the Ruby suit. I would say that the Chewbacca mask that I have is noticeably more golden in the hair uh, than what this is here. Uh, although the grays, I think, are very close to matching. There's maybe a little bit more black in this with a little bit more gray in this salt and pepper mix. But overall, I really don't think it's too bad. Um, and there seems to be, when you look at Chewbacca anyway, it seems that his face is a little bit lighter than the rest of him. So I'm feeling good about this. I feel like we are moving forward. Uh, I've got a good body now. I've got a, a great mask that just needs a couple touch-ups, a fantastic bandolier, and some sort of weaponry that whether I stick with that or not, I know he'll end up with some sort of bandolier in his arm. So the next thing I'll probably need to figure out is how do we display him? All right, collectors, you knew I couldn't resist. After the first video, I had to put that suit on as well. Uh, once again, I have no idea what I look like because I don't have a mirror down here, but I'm hoping I look like our handsome boy that we all know and love. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, please give me a like. If you like videos like this, please subscribe. We're going to have a lot more videos here all the time, and we're looking forward to adding a lot more to our Wookiee build. See ya.